Pseudorite is the most promising and most advanced tool for authors writing creative fiction. But do I recommend that authors actually use Pseudorite? Let's find out. I'm Dan Padovana, a six-figure self-published author, and after working with Pseudorite for the last 14 months, this morning I canceled my subscription, which is due to expire in March. Now from that news, you may surmise that I am not a fan of Pseudorite, uh, but you would be wrong about that. For anybody who is interested in writing with AI, Pseudorite is by far the best platform for authors. But does it work? The answer is usually it does. Pseudorite, because it is feeding the AI bits of information about your story in manageable chunks, allows this artificial intelligence model to better write your story, to better communicate with you about your story. I'm not here today to discuss the morality or the immorality of writing with AI and whether or not authors should use it. What I do want to point out, however, is many authors do use artificial intelligence to help with their writing and they do so for the right reasons. They're not trying to flood Amazon with ridiculously uh, manufactured stories. Instead, they are the creator. The author is the creator. The author is the director of the movie, um, per se, and they are just looking for ways to streamline the process, make the process a little bit more enjoyable, um, kind of have like a writing assistant by the their side and of course they want to speed up the process and get their stories to the public as quickly as possible. Here is one problem which authors come across time and again when they are experimenting with AI and kind of learning in a trial by fire. And that is that AI just hallucinates and forgets important points about your story. So whatever you wrote in the last scene um, there's probably only a slightly better than average chance that AI in this next scene will remember what you wrote and won't just take the story off on its own tangent. Characters, as I've talked about in other videos, um, change sexes on you. I have a lead deputy in my most popular series who is female. And although I always stress that she is female, the AI at least one out of four or five times will turn her into a male, which I find to be highly sexist. Of course, AI at its surface is not sexist but it is learning from all the stories which came before it. And of course, those stories almost always have men in positions of power, and especially when it comes to law enforcement. Pseudorite is not an artificial intelligence model. A lot of authors believe that it is, so it's important to draw this distinction. Rather, what Pseudorite is, is a way for authors to communicate with various AI models in the form of building a story. And Pseudorite ingeniously includes a piece of software called Story Bible. Story Bible allows authors to store all sorts of information about all the characters in their stories, story beats for every single chapter, an outline, a rough outline of the story itself, a brain dump which tells the AI all sorts of different important things about uh, previous stories, maybe if this is a series, or what's come before, or what is to come soon after. Um, and this way, the AI is always informed, at least in theory, uh, when it is writing the scene in question. But you will see these problems far less often when you're using Pseudorite, because it does such a great job at feeding the models what they need when they need them. This is a great way to keep track of your stories regardless of whether you're writing with AI. In fact, I think that every author could learn a ton from Pseudorite's story bible in the way that they organize their thoughts, the way they uh, list their characters in a digital form and draw out everything from character arcs to outlines to story beats for individual chapters. 
all AI models are limited by the amount of information which you can feed them in any one prompt. So if you have ideas about feeding AI a 1,000 or 2,000 word synopsis of your story, plus a description of your chapter, plus outlines uh, of future chapters so it knows what's to come, and also descriptions of all your characters, it's just not going to work out. AI will not remember all that information. Now it may in the future, in fact I would predict that it will as AI becomes more advanced and is able to swallow more information in larger bites. However, it won't immediately stop all the hallucinating which goes on. Now one way around this problem is to feed AI your characters and what is occurring with story beats in your chapter um, over and over again. And this quickly becomes very old and very monotonous. So this is where Pseudorite comes in. And because I spent over a year working with these technologies, you're probably wondering, did I write any books with AI? And the answer is no. No, I did not. I certainly used AI and leaned on it uh, to help me develop my story and to help me flesh out characters, uh, make the story arcs a little bit meatier, and just get that second opinion that a, a human writing assistant would give me if they were sitting beside me. And from time to time, I allowed it to influence things like dialogue. If I was having difficulty with trying to give a character its own voice, I would allow AI to interject some of those thoughts into my writing. But overall, no. I don't believe that it is correct for authors to write using AI. I think that AI should be a tool for writers rather than something that they lean on. In this author's opinion, Pseudorite is a fairly priced and ingenious technological achievement in the world of AI. If you are a writer who wants to write with AI and wants to learn more about AI writing, then by all means, I suggest that you check out Pseudorite. For me, I prefer writing my own stories. I believe that my readers want to write prose from a human and not from a computer. And that's where I will continue to direct my efforts. I worked with Pseudorite and various AI models for 14 months before coming to the conclusions that I have about AI and its inability to write. Now, Pseudorite is not to blame here. Pseudorite is a fantastic tool. And for any author who is insistent on writing with AI, I hardly recommend that they check out Pseudorite because it will organize everything that you are attempting to do with AI allow you to keep track of your story and for AI to keep track of your story as well. The problem is that AI has its own drawbacks and there's nothing that Pseudorite can do to get around this. And the biggest one is the hallucinations. Even though the hallucinations aren't as frequent with Pseudorite because you continuously feed information about your characters and your stories to the AI models, mistakes are still made. I still have my characters changing sexes, their ages change, the weather will change, it may be set in the middle of the summer and suddenly we're dealing with that cold winter wind. Uh, so this is something which Pseudorite can combat, but it can't completely stamp out. If you use AI to write, you will always encounter these issues. The biggest issue I have with writing fiction with AI, and this is something which I already created a video about, is that AI can't write fictional prose. Creative prose for AI is just a non-starter. And if you look at various models of AI from, say, the most uh, famous ones like ChatGPT3, then 3.5, and then 4, you'll find that the prose isn't getting noticeably better. It's not actually improving. And I can't exactly say why that is, but I believe that the reason is is that AI is a problem solver and it's just not creative because it's not human and therefore it doesn't understand how to write creatively rather than how to write cliche, which is what it does. So Pseudorite can't get around that problem and no matter what model you choose, you'll find that this problem is prevalent in every bit of prose that you try to generate. It just sounds clunky, it sounds cliched, and it's not something which any professional writer should include in one of their books.